Welcome to Introduction to Computer Science, Computer Software. This is Lecture D. The component, Introduction to Computer Science, provides a basic overview of computer architecture, data organization, representation, and structure, structure of programming languages, and networking and data communication. It also includes some basic terminology from the world of computing. The learning objectives for this unit, Computer Software, are to define computer software and major software types, Describe application software classification and provide examples, including those focused on healthcare. Define what an operating system is. Explain the features and functions of operating systems. Classify operating systems. Describe commonly used operating systems. Describe types and major attributes of files. Explain the purpose of file systems. Provide file management tips. And identify different implementations of file systems. This lecture defines what a file is, identifies various file types and their attributes, provides tips for managing files, explains why file systems are important, and identifies several types of file system implementations. A file is defined as a block of program instructions or data stored on some storage device. There are many different file types. One example is executable files, which contain a software application that users run. An executable file is filled with a series of machine code instructions. Another file type is a text file, which is merely a collection of binary representations of characters. There are other types of files that may include other types of special formatting, such as types specific to an application, like Microsoft Word or Excel. There are also specially formatted files for storing images and videos, and files that are formatted to be an archive. Every file must have a name. Each operating system, or OS, has its own naming rules. For example, early releases of Microsoft Windows had a file name limit of 8 characters. Also, some operating systems have case-sensitive file names, others do not. Part of the file name is the file's extension, which is a set of characters appearing after the dot in the file name. The extension usually identifies the file type, which in turn determines what a user can do with the file. Depending on the settings of the file system, file extensions may or may not be visible in the user interface. File extensions are somewhat up to the user to maintain correctly. An application that creates a file will automatically append the correct extension to the file name, but it may be changed later by a user or another application. Some examples of file names with extensions are essay.docx, which is a Microsoft Word document named essay budget.xlsx, which is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet named budget. winzip.exe is an executable program named winzip. And photo1.jpg, which is a JPEG formatted image named photo1. Files have owners. Typically, the owner is the person who created the file or last modified it. Operating systems also have utilities to change ownership of a file. Not all operating systems store the file owner particularly those operating systems that are simple and do not have extensive file security. Files also have permissions that specify what a user can do with the file, who can read the file, write to the file, and execute the file, in the case of an executable program. Permissions are an important security feature, since they protect files from unauthorized access. All files have a size that is expressed in bytes, kilobytes, abbreviated as KB, megabytes, abbreviated as MB, or gigabytes, abbreviated as GB. The size of a file depends on the amount of data stored in the file. For example, a file that stores a long Microsoft Word document will be larger than a file that stores a short text-based document. A file containing a high-definition or HD video will be larger than a low-resolution video file of the same length. A file system is a way of organizing files and their metadata on a storage device. Metadata is information about the file, such as its author, its creation date, its subject matter, etc. A file system provides an efficient and reliable data structure to store and access files, provides an interface used to create, modify, and save files, and facilitates indexing for fast retrieval of files. Most file systems allow users to group files into some form of container. In Microsoft Windows and Mac OS, the containers are called folders. In Unix and Linux, the containers are called directories. Folders or directories that are contained in other folders or directories are called subfolders or subdirectories. There are also flat file systems that have only one large directory or folder, 
with all the files being held within that single directory or folder. For file systems that are not flat, meaning there is more than just one large directory or folder, the nested subfolders or subdirectories contained on the computer form a hierarchical structure similar to that of a tree. This screenshot shows nested folders and subfolders and the tree-like structure that results. The top of the hierarchy is called the root. Due to the large volume of modern storage devices and the large number of stored files, finding a file can be challenging. Most file systems include an indexing system that enables users to search for a file based on all or part of a file name. The indexing system maintains a database that gets updated as files are created, modified, or removed. The indexing process is similar to file labeling in a file cabinet. Programs and databases use these unique index labels to retrieve and store information. When a file is deleted, the file system removes the file's entry from the index and identifies the drive space where the file was stored as being free. However, a deleted file can be recovered if the recovery effort is undertaken quickly, before the file's drive space is overwritten. Completely deleting a file requires using a file shredding utility to write over the freed space so that the old data no longer exists. For highly secure environments like healthcare settings, old disks must be safely disposed of in such a way that no one can recover data that was once stored on them. File systems and operating systems provide utilities to manage files and folders or directories. In Windows, it is called File Explorer. In Mac OS and Mac OS X, it is called Finder. In Unix, a series of typed line commands provides this functionality. And Linux, in addition to the command lines used in Unix, offers graphical file managers. Some of the currently popular ones are named Midnight Commander, Conqueror, Nautilus, and Dolphin. File management utilities allow you to view files and their properties, find files, move files from one folder or directory to another, copy and paste files or folders, rename files or folders, and create folders and directories. This is a screenshot of File Explorer in Microsoft Windows 7. Depending on the view selected from the Views menu, the user may or may not see the detailed properties about the files and folders. This view is the detailed view. It shows the file's name, including the file's extension, the date the file was last modified, the file's size, and the file's type. There are other options in the menus at the top of the window and the links on the left, including Search, Quick Links to other locations on the computer, and links to file and folder tasks. This is a screenshot of Finder for Mac OS 10.5. Once again, it shows details about the file, including the name, the date last modified, the size, and the type. The file extensions are not shown in this view. There are buttons at the top that perform other actions, including a search, and links on the left to go to other locations. There are several desktop environments available for Linux. One is KDE. Dolphin is the name of the file manager in the KDE environment. A view of Dolphin appears in the upper left corner of this screenshot. Note that in the view shown, the files are represented by icons relating to the type of file, and the file extensions are shown along with the file's size. No details about the date last modified are given here, but they are available in the detailed view. This file manager also provides links to other places, as shown on the left. Application file utilities are available for use within applications. For example, in Microsoft Windows, selecting a file involves typing in a file name or clicking a Browse button to open a window, which allows navigation through folders to find the file needed. In the screenshot you see here, the window is performing a Save As. Similar to File Explorer, the user selects the folder in which to save the file and types in the file name. The Search File utility searches for files or folders on a disk based on search criteria. Utilities for file compression and archiving are available. Some come with the operating system, like Windows Native Compression Utilities. Others are third-party software that needs to be installed, like WinZip for Microsoft Windows and StuffIt for Mac OS X and Microsoft Windows. File compression and archiving utilities allow assembly of multiple files and folders into one archive file. Compression utilities use special algorithms to store files and folders in a compressed format, which is smaller than the uncompressed format. If a file is compressed, it must be uncompressed before it can be used. Often, 
Archiving and compression are used together to conserve storage space on a hard drive. Archived files are sometimes referred to as zipped files. Backup and restore utilities refer to programs that allow users to easily backup data and to restore the data from the backup. Backups can be regularly scheduled and can be done incrementally, meaning that only new or changed data is saved in the backup once a full backup exists. Most sensitive systems require regular backups, sometimes multiple backups, and often require that at least one backup resides off-site. Security utilities are programs that help protect a computer from harmful files and unwanted access. These can include firewalls, antivirus software, anti-spyware, and anti-malware. For transferring files from one computer to another over a network, there are file transfer utilities. Depending on the network, transferring files may be the same as moving files from one folder to another. Other networks, such as the Internet, require using utilities to transfer files. One such utility is called File Transfer Protocol, or FTP. There are many graphical user interface, or GUI, applications built on top of this protocol to make transferring files easier. Searching the internet for FTP and a specific operating system will return many file utility options. Before concluding, here are some tips for managing files. Use descriptive names for files and folders or directories. Maintain proper file extensions. Group similar files together into folders or directories. Organize folders or directories in a proper hierarchy. Delete or archive files that are no longer needed. Maintain enough free space on the drive. How much is enough will vary. And finally, back up your files regularly. This concludes Lecture D of the Unit on Computer Software. This lecture defined computer files and described different file types and attributes. It defined and explained the role of the file system, provided an overview of file management utilities and file systems, and provided file management tips. This also concludes the unit titled Computer Software. This unit defined software and explained two major software types, application software and system software. Application software is an end-user program. System software directly operates the computer hardware. Applications include software tailored for business, multimedia, science, mathematics, communication, and healthcare, to name a few. Operating systems coordinate the applications and the hardware. They are the interface between the applications that the users run and the physical computer hardware. Operating systems are present on every computer. Files are basic blocks of programs and data. Files have attributes. File systems work with operating systems to manage the storage and retrieval of files stored on a disk.